We're talking with Carolyn Lammersfeld. She's the National Director of Nutrition for Cancer Treatment Centers of America. Good morning. Good morning, Lynette. A lot of patients want to know, what can I do to prevent cancer? You know, it's one thing when you have cancer, but what can everybody do nutritionally to prevent getting the disease? We know that there's some evidence for that. Absolutely, and I think it's also important to remember there's primary prevention to prevent getting cancer in the first place, but if you've survived cancer treatment, there's also secondary prevention to prevent a recurrence or another cancer, so we want to make sure we, you know, we address both of those, and what you can do is similar. Um, what we know from the American Institute for Cancer Research, which is one of the, the organizations that, that has combined or compiled um, thousands of studies worldwide to look at the evidence in this area, um, and you know, one of the most important things you can do certainly is not smoke. So you know, that's hopefully a given from a, a, a but lifestyle. That's a nice factor. reminder. Yeah, and we know about a third of cancers are related to, to diet and lifestyle, which tobacco fits in, in that area too. But the other areas you, you can you can manage from a risk factor standpoint is um, one if you drink any alcohol. Um, women make sure you never drink more than one drink um, in a 24-hour period and men um, not more than two drinks in a 24-hour period. Um, alcohol can affect our hormone levels you know, mm -hmm. for both uh, women and men, um, and it also carries toxins in it that can affect the tissues you know, from the time you take them in all the way through your body. So wow. um, really, you know, if, if you don't drink, don't start, and if you do drink, um, make sure you, you do it very moderately. Um, also, t um, taking um, a multivitamin with B-complex or a B-complex can help minimize any damage from alcohol too. So that's one thing. Um, the other thing we learned recently, um, which is one of the biggest modifiable risk factor, is uh, achieve and maintain an ideal body weight. Well, <laughs> now therein lies the big secret, right? right? Okay. Easier said than done, <laughs> exactly I understand right. that. Okay. Yes, I, t I totally understand <laughs> it's easier said than done. But I think a lot of people um, haven't made the connection between being overweight and obese and cancer, and it is a risk factor um, for many cancers. Um, in fact, most cancers, and we know we have um, an obesity epidemic in, the, in this country. People are getting bigger, and so it's important to, to recognize that that is the, the number one most modifiable risk factor next, next to tobacco and alcohol. So, you know, trying to do things to achieve and maintain an ideal body weight, and there are some things you can do diet-wise that can help with that, um, that also in and of themselves have some cancer prevention benefit. So, okay. um, for example, moving towards more of a plant-based diet or a semi-plant-based diet. Okay. Um, you know, we know um, animal foods can increase the risk of some cancers and plant-based foods from whole grains, vegetables, fruits, beans, um, actually have lots of compounds called phytochemicals in them that have anti-cancer activity. So, you know, moving towards a plant-based diet can also help with the weight um, and becoming physically active, you know, trying to um, exercise at least a half an hour a day most days of the week to help with the body weight issue. But again, and moving towards a plant-based diet is probably one of the, the best things you can do from a standpoint of um, eliminating things in the diet that may increase the risk of cancer okay. and adding things that, that may help prevent cancer. I know a lot of folks who are trying to stay in remission after their cancer diagnosis move to a vegan diet. Is that a recommendation? Is it something that you should do overnight? Is it something that you should do gradually to kind of get your body used to it? Is it even recommended or necessary?